This is Janice from Measuring to Fit. I help beginners with starting off in their sewing journey. So today I'm talking about stitch size. To me, I call it stitch size, and uh, but it is commonly known as stitch width. So this is the Juki sewing machine, and this particular sewing machine has a slider for adjusting the stitch width or stitch size. So what is stitch width or stitch size for me, uh, Janice? I love to. I prefer to call it stitch size. So not. Uh, I thought that is a bit more less confusing. So stitch size, uh, commonly known as stitch width, right? So when you adjust stitch width, what happens is this, right? Um, yes. So the, this line here, this first line, I started off by sewing 1.5 stitch width. Go down. I went to 3, 5, and 7. So, can you see? 1.5, 3, 5, and 7. So, on this individual line, this is 1.5. This is 4. And this is 7. So, can you see the difference? Right? So, what do we use this dial for if you want to adjust? So one of the tips I can share with you is about when you move this dial, your needle moves slightly. So when you want to adjust the position of your needle, you can use the stitch size or stitch width dial, whether it's dial or a slider like this or even a digital one that allows you to press in order to increase or decrease your stitch size or stitch width that when you do that adjustment your needle is going to move slightly so you can use that this is a small tip that you can use that to adjust your needle position right so because your needle moves right it moves slightly so make sure whenever you want to adjust this dial or this width, whether it's a digital sewing machine or a dial sewing machine where it, the adjustment is by dial, slider or even digital by pushing buttons, make sure that your needle is in the up position because we don't want to break the needle. We also don't want to uh, affect the feed dogs underneath. So it is very good practice to remember to keep your needle in the up position whenever you are adjusting your stitch size or stitch width. Right? So another thing, a small tip to, to also be uh, to uh, help you why in terms of using the stitch width is when Let's say for sewing stretch fabric, you can't use your straight stitch to sew. You can't because when you stretch the fabric, the fabric stretches, your stitches is going to pop, right? So you need to use zigzag stitch to sew your stretch, uh, your stretch material or uh, stretch fabric. So if your sewing machine doesn't have the dedicated a stretch stitch you can use zigzag stitch and if you want it to be almost like a straight line right you don't want it to be uh, zigzagging all the way so you adjust it in such a way that it is about one so the width is very minimal it looks almost like a straight line and then you can sew on your stretch material with a zigzag stitch but the zigzag is adjusted to about one depending on your machine you have to adjust it small so that you get almost like a straight line and you will still be able to accommodate the stretch in your stretch fabric right 
So I hope that is helpful. Here in my sewing course, my six-part beginner sewing course, I do have a, a part six where I will introduce to you sewing the t-shirt or the ladies panty where you use stretch material to make your project. So if you like to inquire about my sewing course, do private message me. Right? So I hope this is helpful. Share this video if you think it's helpful to someone in their sewing journey.